Hi there, I'm Dr. Bill Lawler, family and pediatric chiropractor, and today we're going to talk about symptoms. Our Western society freaks out about symptoms, and usually if you have a symptom, you have to immediately try to get rid of it. And if you have a headache, you have a fever, you have an upset stomach, you have sinus issues, you have whatever, we typically just freak out. We always view that it's a red light signal, it's bad, we need to make sure little Johnny doesn't have a fever or a sinus problem or whatever it is. And instead, what I'm telling you is that it's a green light, it's a good thing, it means your body's talking to you. So if you have a pain, why do you have a pain? You need to figure that out. You don't need to just get rid of it by taking some pain reliever, but if you get a headache, you have to say, okay, why did I get a headache? Am I drinking enough water? Am I sleeping enough? Am I under a lot of stress? Am I not eating correctly? What's going on? Why do I have a headache? Uh, if you have a fever, ask why you have a fever or why your child has a fever. That's actually a very good thing as well. It's trying to get rid of things in the body, germs in your body. Um, so you ask the what is it? What does the symptom mean? Why did I get it? What's the adequate or right response? So as I already said, it's good to have symptoms. And my 11th commandment is, Thou shalt not freak out when you get a symptom. And also, don't just go to drugs. There are times when you have a symptom and you may need to resort to something like that. But I raised six kids and we use drugs so sparingly. My kids didn't even know what a pain reliever was. We just never had to use things because we honored the body. We said, thank you body for giving the symptom. Now let's see the natural way to take care of that. Chiropractic is definitely one of those. We work with the nervous system. We help the body function better. We listen to symptoms, but we don't freak out about them, and we try to honor the body's wisdom. So that's the challenge for you. Figure out why you have it. Try to be calm. Don't freak out about little Susie or Jimmy or whoever's symptoms. React nicely with the body and honor that wisdom, and you're going to be much happier and healthier. Thanks for listening.